How's it going, Virgo? Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot, guys. Welcome here. Um, so I'm just going to jump right in like I always do. So we're doing a love reading for you for May 2021. This is going to be a general tarot card reading, and it can be for whatever relationship status that you have going on out there. Um, and it's going to be for Virgo in Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Did I just blow a bubble? It really felt like it. So anyway, um, general reading. Hope it resonates. Hope you guys have fun. If you're a first timer here, I keep my intros really short to the point because I want you guys to get right into the reading. So um, honestly, you know, I've watched other readers and, and I can't I can't handle like a five minute intro. Like it, it just drives me nuts, you know? So anyway, on that note, I'm gonna start pulling cards. I'm using the Romance Angel Oracle card deck here. And I'm going to clarify with the Gilded Tarot. So I hope you guys enjoy. I think there was something else that I had to say, but I'm going to go with the cards here, Virgo. Okay. <clears throat> so this says forgiving and learning. Um, this is a really interesting card. Like there's sort of a big pile up of people like in human form here and everybody's sort of clutching together. But what's really interesting is the ancestors coming forward to support. So this says, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Um, so, I mean, this is pretty interesting because there, I think everybody has like specters or ghosts from the past or like skeletons in the closet and people that you hold grudges against. And sometimes that person is staring back at you in the mirror. <sighs> Forgiveness. You never know what else is motivating people. You know, we just see the surface reactions of what is going on in people's lives and it can be easy to judge. Um, you know, we all do it. Who do you have to forgive in your past so that you can live right here and now? Keeping in mind that forgiveness is for you, okay? It's not for anybody else. It's so that you can move on, um, you know, and live your life fully without everything that holding a grudge or not healing brings with it you know so i'm gonna start putting down some gilded tarot cards here right now so <clears throat> i know people seem to have an impression that the romance angel oracle card deck is all like you know valentine's day and cupid and chocolate and flowers but this is like it really looks at the heart of, of the matter what is going on in your love life so you could be single for a long time because you're unable to move past a scenario from your past. Um, you know, and this could involve past lovers. It could involve your parents. It could involve your ancestors. <sighs> like what's going on there? And it affects every single aspect of your life. And the closer that people get to you, as in your romantic life, the more they kind of see your pain and or how you cover your pain or how you don't talk about your pain. Or how sometimes you might let crazy cover the pain instead, you know, where instead of talking about something, there's other ways of expressing yourself. So you're being given strength here. Okay, this is a beautiful card um, just to move forward. And this is a divine feminine strength. So like the words I'm getting associated with this, it's time to move through the pain and not around it and know that you're being divinely supported. So if there are things that you have not yet released, this is a good time because it's coming up in your love reading. Um, you know, and it, it is just the right angels are around you to help you heal. You probably have the right ancestors, you know, especially if your sort of first generation ancestors have passed to the other side. Now they can see you very, very clearly. There's no artifice uh, on the other side of the veil. So they're probably very available. They, they're still close to the veil. You know, you can still call them. 
I'm seeing for some of you, you could have children on the other side of the veil. So the same thing would apply and you don't have to worry about, you know, them being a young child. They're not, you know, they're, they're a divine being of love and light, you know, and they have the knowledge of the cosmos now. So they, they can comfort you. And it could be actually, I think a lot of you need to forgive yourself for something that you perceive as doing. Uh, I start to get goosebumps when I pick, um, pick up on certain things from my spirit guides. And that's when I know that it is probably what a lot of people need to hear. That's where I feel like it's really going to be the right message. You know? Like forgiving yourself is probably the hardest thing you're ever going to have to do. Especially if you think that you're at fault for something. You know, you really messed something up. You damaged a relationship. You know, maybe you were taking somebody, taking care of somebody that was ill. Um, I, I see that some of you and not everybody feels the burden for somebody passing on to the other side of the veil. It would be somebody very, very close, but... Again, that's divine and perfect timing and people are called when they're called. You know, it's in your soul contract, you know, the exact date and time and method to part. If you're not sure what a soul contract is, you might just want to check that out and, and it might really ease you. Like how... People do everything they can to alter a situation, but if it's been written in time, there's nothing you can do. And then you're the one that's going to be left feeling in pain. So there is a certain amount of um, <clears throat> forgiveness that needs to be done. Either you, someone else, okay? And time to face it up, full frontal, you know? Move through it. And then we have the Knight of Cups that I just pulled for you guys. And this is a really beautiful card of uh, being offered love and strength and support right now. Again, I was seeing people really coming up to the front as far as your team in spirit. And I say that all the time. My, my team in spirit resides with me, particularly when I start to do readings. And these are my angels, my guardian angels, um, you know, archangels, any ancestors that are available. This is your team in spirit. And they are coming to you you know, to be close to you, to hold you up, to dry your tears, you know, just really support you. And it's being done with love, especially the people that you think that you might have wronged or let down. And now they're no longer available to you in this world to have conversations with. So that's really deep. You know, the people that you think that would hold a grudge against you or would never forgive you. They're going to be the first ones available to you in um, that group of your team and spirit. And this will be your ancestors or your descendants, you know, because I do see that a couple of you lost a child. And you know what they say, like no parent should ever have to bury their child. And then that deep grief and pain associated with it. That's always just going to walk right beside you, you know? So, um, oh, Virgo. Yeah, you guys have been really battling here, you know? And this is, like, how is this affecting your love life? Because you're steeped in this, you know? Um, <clears throat> you've got the Five of Swords, and look at this. Like, you, you come out. Like, this is you getting to the other side. I see it's going to be a battle for you with the Five of Swords, you know, or it's been a battle, and it, you feel exhausted, but things will get better for you, Virgo. You know, and forgiveness is the key. Forgiveness is the key. And some of you might have to forgive people. I'm actually seeing a courtroom scene where you might have to go and tell somebody. I'm actually seeing that you guys had somebody take the life of somebody in your family. Man, I see a lot of pain here for you, Virgo, and 
you will eventually overcome this and be victorious. And these are sort of the previous versions of you in the background and you've starting to stand back up again and like, okay, I'm starting to feel okay, everything's all right. And then you could have guilt associated with that. I really want to recommend like forgiveness type of affirmations, forgiveness meditations, you know. Um, there's HZ frequencies that are really beautiful. I actually use them to help me sleep when I'm feeling like I can't. So maybe go and find an HZ frequency to help forgive, okay? Because this could really advance your life. Because um, I feel like some of you are stuck in a pain that could either be fresh or it could be 50 years old, okay? So, and it's really limiting you. You're not supposed to live in grief, okay? I know, even though times can be very difficult and uh, some scenarios are just like, how do you even live through them, right? So anyway, sending you guys all my love and light and some tips on how to forgive and let go uh, so that you can really like be full again. Okay, guys. All right. So take care. Love and light. Bye.